So the problem in utilizing T-cell recruiting antibody constructs in the setting of AML is the identification of a suitable target antigen. So we have done preclinical work utilizing a novel T-cell recruiting antibody construct that is actually targeting an intracellular antigen. So this is WT1, which is presented in the context of HLA A2 on the surface of AML cells. So with this antibody constructs, which has been developed by Roche and where we did a preclinical assessment of this construct, we have a bivalent binding antibody construct that is mimicking the TCR and is recognizing MHC peptide complexes on the AML cells. And this is a um, previously already defined WT1 derived peptide that is presented in HLA A2 positive patients, which are about 50% of the AML patients. And we could show um, utilizing this antibody construct that this is highly effective in recognizing and mediating cytotox cytotoxicity against primary AML cells. And interestingly, as um, TCR, transgenic T-cells, have been around and have already been applied in phase one trials for treatment of AML. We could show that in comparison to a TCR-specific um, T-cell clone, these antibody constructs have a higher avidity to the AML cells and are thereby more sufficient in mediating cytotoxicity in AML. So we think that these antibody constructs are highly interesting because they open up an entire bag of possible target antigens which are derived from intracellular proteins and thereby might be more specific than the surface target antigens which we are currently addressing with T-cell recruiting antibody constructs. And by using this bispecific T-cell engaging antibody constructs, we achieve a higher avidity even to antigens that have a low expression level on the AML cells. So we are very excited about our preclinical data and hopefully uh, will initiate a phase one trial at the end of next year.